if you are indeed looking at a today's market you can see overall either you're talking about dow jones either you're talking about uh, nasdaq or s p futures they are trying to stabilize itself so the overall context of the market is indeed very volatile but uh, market is trying to stabilize itself and it is not only about the geopolitical tension which is obviously is a big concern and if you are looking at the overall momentum or overall trend or the big trend is uh, on the downside but uh, market can't go in a particular direction on a continuous basis so right now what's happening over here is market at least for the short term trying to stabilizing itself and uh, it is uh, negating all the important things that are happening across the globe so if you are looking at the trend on intraday basis you will see because there are lots of basket if you are talking about the energy if you are talking about the overall commodity basket there is a huge jump in the price and which is very much visible in uh, their stock prices but if you are looking at the other side of it so there is indeed a disbalance but beyond a certain point if you are talking about a good stock obviously there will be a buyer and there will be buying on continuous basis or accumulating some people will start accumulating the shares or some fund houses will start accumulating the shares so you will see that the pace of the stock fall or the market fall will become slow now it does not mean that there will be no worries because uh, if you're look, looking at the inflation if you're looking at the interest rate and more importantly if you are looking at the global tension or geopolitical tension this is going to stay but uh, market discounting or market always discount the future and probably you can see that in the short term or in the very short term market has indeed discounted some of the fears and let me tell you one thing even if you are looking at the oil prices uh, if you're talking about the crude uh, or nymex or brent or natural gas there will be a huge surge in the past couple of days which means there is indeed a long position that's been building up but uh, on every higher level or at every higher level there will be there will be people who are going to take back the profits so it's not going to be a one way ride and meanwhile whenever the stock market finds the momentum whenever the equity market finds the momentum it tries to jump back on the upside now if you are looking at the overall trend or the big trend obviously there will be no change as far as the commodity prices are concerned but as i told you you know there are levels in the stock market when gets hit and you will see buying will emerge in good stock at least now there is an another issue people generally tend to correlate the ongoing problems in the society or in the global uh, context or in uh, geopolitical terms they want to correlate it with the stock market uh, in a direct manner so this is not the right way to find out how the stock market is going to behave the very simple way to understand how the stock market is going to behave is it obviously discounts the future whatever is about to happen stock market does not like uncertainty the stock market always a uh, future discounting machine so what is about to happen probably have discount disc uh, i mean already discounted if not 100% at least 30% has already discounted and if the market is going to fall in the next couple of weeks or months it's not going to be a one way ride so right now what we can see that at least in short term stock market is uh, trying to stabilize itself and that's what we can see as far as the uh, stocks are concerned so there can be two kind of opportunity that will emerge out of it number 1 if you are looking stocks for trading you will get 10% 50% and in some stock it can become double 
and in this level you will definitely go for some good stock with good fundamentals and decent valuations obviously the valuations has already been corrected so if the combination of both are available you can go for those stocks and you can do an accumulation going forward to play out this particular problem which is or which will sustain in the market going forward so this is what we have in a today's session i hope you like this podcast thanks for listening